Sometimes in life you have to make a massive decision which is going to impact the rest of your life in a big way. And that's exactly the point that I'm at right now. And in 2016, I was in a similar position. I gave up everything I'd worked so hard for in my previous jobs to quit and start washing cars for myself. I worked relentlessly to build myself a good customer base whilst at the same time mastering my craft. And within 12 months, I'd gone from washing cars on people's driveways to starting to offer much more comprehensive packages. I lived by the mantra of under-promising and over-delivering and combining that with a passion for what I did, which really helped my business grow. And with great recommendations came more customers and people started to trust me with much more valuable cars and what you're watching right now is actually my first three YouTube videos so the question is what changed and after years of doing that I started to lose sight of my passion because I was spending so long isolated chasing perfection which sometimes just isn't achievable and spending so much time on your own is never gonna be any good for your mental health so for my own well-being something had to change I think we need some sort of collaboration with a detailer or something. So that is exactly what we did. I was making videos revolving around detailing, but I started pushing more and more with my YouTube channel, and this is the first video that really took off. And I'm sure we can give Matt some credit for that. So using what I'd learned through my years of detailing, we set about restoring the interior of his Mark 7.5 Golf R. But the one thing that this video taught me is that there was so much more for me out there than what I was doing at that time. And being around someone that shared the exact same passion for cars as what I did really ignited that back in me and although this video did really well for me at the time it also made me realize that what I love about cars was driving them and using them and working on them not obsessing over detailing and cleaning them so much anymore so once I'd refound my passion for cars I then started building them on YouTube for you guys to watch starting with the 350z then to the BMW the Aston Martin the TT the Golf the Jag and the Hyundai and now I find myself in a very tricky position because I've been burning the candle at both ends trying to run my business and also my YouTube channel and it's it's come to the point where it's really become too much for one person to handle. So I found myself at a set of crossroads that I never thought I would. I can either go and pursue my business or my YouTube channel. Because if I'm not putting 100% into either, how am I going to get 100% out? And I think the title of this video gives it away that I'm going to have to say goodbye to my company, Slicks Car Care, to pursue my dream on YouTube. But this doesn't come without its own drawbacks. And that simply comes from the fast-paced nature of YouTube. As nice as it would be to be able to enjoy all of these cars that I've built, as soon as a project's finished, I really need to be thinking about what to do next. And while I've managed to build up some equity in the cars that I've got, this doesn't mean I've got free cash floating around ready to go and throw at the next project while I'm still using the other ones. So that means that hoarding cars like I'm doing right now isn't an option. So unfortunately, we're gonna to have to say goodbye to the Golf, the Hyundai, and the F-Type SVR in different ways. So let's start with the Golf. So the Mark 8 Golf R has been one of the most successful builds in terms of views on the channel. And I think also possibly one of the best builds I've ever done. I genuinely believe that this car is better than when before it was crashed and also is gonna make a brilliant car for someone for years to come. And with this being such a perfect all-rounder and a super usable daily car, I wanna give every single one of you a chance to own it. So that means we're gonna raffle this car and it's gonna be cheap, really cheap. So to raffle this car, we've partnered up with Level giveaways and we're going to be selling tickets for this car for 99 pence each so from the day this video goes live you've only got a short period of time where you can get a ticket to drive away in my mark 8 golf r so just as a quick recap if you haven't followed the build on this car this is a stage 2 racing line tuned mark 8 golf r it's a 2021 with about 20,000 miles on the clock 24,514 miles on actually with color match seat belts by vibe belts and an alcantara dashboard steering wheel and steering wheel airbag done by Wheel Finesse. We've got Racing Line R360 wheels, along with their Stage 2 big brake package. So that means we've got different front calipers and also bigger two-piece discs too. I finished these wheels off by fitting them with Continental Sport Contact 7s. And then to perfect the handling and driving dynamics of the car, we fitted Bill Stein's newest Evo T1 suspension. And not only that, we've got an AirTech intercooler, a forged carbon fibre engine cover, and just about every single piece that Racing Line do, including the R600 intake. And then all the styling mods, so the the rear diffuser, the spoiler, the side skirts, the mirror caps and the front splitter are all from Auto ID. And then the final things that we did were full exhaust by RPM Performance with carbon fibre exhaust tips and a racing line stage 2 map which put it to 456 brake horsepower. 
What more do you want from your car? <laughs> so on Sunday the 29th of October at 10 p.m. we're gonna be doing the live draw so one of you can drive this car away. So if you want to own a Mark 8 Golf R with pretty much every single thing on it that you could possibly want to do, all you have to do is go to the second link in the description to level up giveaways and buy as many tickets as you wanna get. Because the more tickets you buy, the better chance you have of winning. Now with this, there's gonna be a live draw regardless of how many tickets we sell. So if we only sell 10, the car's going. And there'll be absolutely zero extensions on this competition so you've got one chance and not in that level up have also kindly offered to give the winner of this car a thousand pound towards the running cost and insurance as well so to be the person driving away sat in that driver's seat go to the second link in the description and grab as many tickets as you can because every single one you buy will help towards what we do in the future on this channel oh and one final point the exhaust is a little bit loud at the moment but before this car goes we'll be getting a resonator put in too so that leaves us with the Hyundai and the Jag the Jag has has been my absolute baby and I have loved owning this car for every second of it. And boy has this car got a story to tell. I bought it crash damage from an eBay listing and rebuilt it back to factory specifications and it really stung me with how expensive some of the parts were. But look at the finished product, an F-Type SVR, one of 400 ever made in a super rare colour back to factory fresh and it looks stunning. I say factory fresh apart from two things. The wheels, these got kindly curved by the hotel in Milan on the road trip we just did and these will be sorted before the car goes along with all four wheels being balanced and a fresh alignment done on it as well. I'm gonna save you guys a job on these cars and I'm gonna reg check them for you. So I'm gonna put the reg from the Jag into car vertical using discount code Chris and let's see what it brings up. And to do that, it couldn't be easier. Go onto car vertical, pop in the reg of the car you want to check, then use discount code Chris and then you can sit back and relax while Car Vertical does all of the work to get the information that you need on a car that you're looking to buy. So you can see here, my F-Type SVR has a green tick for theft, odometer, financial and legal status, but it does have an amber warning light for accidents. Now, Car Vertical will check the theft status in multiple countries to make sure this car has not been stolen in the past or wanted as stolen at any point, and will also check the legitimacy of the mileage to make sure it's not been clocked, but we can see my F-Type checks out because there's no dips in the graph. And it will also check the car's history to see if it's been damaged in the past or not, as we all know my car is a category s and i've not tried to hide that so there is that too and then finally car vertical will show you all the specs of the car and the full timeline so you can see what happened to it and when now car vertical helps you paint a true picture of a car's past and in some scenarios can even show you photos from when a car was crashed like this Porsche 911 just here. So to check your car or a friend or family member's car or a car you're potentially about to buy, use discount code CHRIS and the link in the description. Everything about this car is special. It's what really sets the SVR apart. And I really like the interior. Factory fitted, it comes with the Alcantara dashboard. These leather bucket seats, which have all blue stitching and blue piping with the SVR logos in the top. A carbon fiber steering wheel from Premium Bespoke Auto Works, and also some yellow belts from Vibe Belts, which perfectly accent these yellow calipers. Now what sets the SVR model apart from the standard model is a active aero carbon fiber spoiler, a full titanium exhaust, carbon fiber louvered bonnet vents, which only come on the SVR, and also these kind of vented wings and side skirts are also only on the SVR. And how can I forget this supercharged five liter V8 pumps out 575 horsepower. But we have done a little upgrade to the supercharger pulley, making this a little bit more. And let me tell you, this car is an absolute beast. With four wheel drive, it does naught to 60 in three and a half seconds and a top speed of 201 mile an hour. And where this car impressed me most is on the road trip we just did. It was faster than Matt's Lamborghini and was easily keeping up with Nico's Ferrari. And a fraction of the price of either. But as much as I love this car, it has to go to make way for another project so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to sell it. So if you wanna own my facelift F-Type SVR, the price for this is gonna be 46,500 pounds. It has just ticked over 20,000 miles. And let me tell you, bang for buck on this car, I don't think you're gonna get much better. Now, I'm not stupid, 46,500 pounds is a lot of money, but when you compare it to, say, a new Golf R, it's cheaper than that, it does 200 mile an hour, it's faster to 60, and it looks stunning. And yes, this car is a Category S, like my home, Hyundai, like my Golf, but if you do want to see how the repair has been done, it's all been documented on my YouTube channel. So if you are interested in this car, you know where to get me, all of my contact details are in the description. So we're raffling the Golf, we're selling the Jag, what about my Hyundai? Well let me tell you, this car has been the one that has surprised me the most. I'm not going to lie, I bought it and didn't expect anything great, 
but it has shocked me so much because I think there's one element that is missing out of a lot of modern cars which this one has and that's fun because there's not many cars you get in these days and you get in you drive it and you're laughing and that's exactly what this Hyundai i30n does to me so we started off with a great baseline but I wanted to take this project a little bit further and really push myself so I went to Pry Design in Germany and picked up a wide body kit for this car now there's only one other one that I'm aware of in the UK and I truly believe that this body kit makes the look of this car it gives it some extra meat and girth which really gives it extra presence on the road too. In some cases, you presume that a wide body kit would ruin a car, but this is actually completely unaffected by it. We've just took this on a track day at Donington in the pouring rain, and it was so surprising how well it did. And that wide body kit coupled with the livery which is done by Ultimate Customs and the Rotiform KB1s, I think, absolutely perfects the exterior look of this car. It's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be out there, it's supposed to be a laugh, and it's exactly that. But that's not all we've done to this Hyundai i30n. The interior I've kept nice and simple. Again, we've got a cover from Wheel Finesse and a couple of little bits from RPM Performance to smarten up the interior, as well as a short shifter. Under the bonnet, we've got a forge intake combined with a full exhaust from Scorpion. And just with those simple modifications, when tuned by Mallory Performance, this made about 320 horsepower, which isn't loads, but but in a front wheel drive car with a limited slip diff, let me tell you, this car is a lot of fun. And if you're wondering why it's got a tow hook in, you've just got to put one in to go on a track day. But how the hell do you price something like this that is completely one off? Because yes, again, this car is a category S, but it's so unique, it's really hard to put a price on because the body kit for this car alone was £5,000. That doesn't include the work fitting it, the paintwork, and also the wheels and spaces that go along with that. So price wise, I'm not really trying to compete with a standard i30N, because it's not really the same thing anymore. And I know that some people's opinion is that modifying a car doesn't add any value, but if you wanted to do this to your own car, it's gonna cost you a fortune. Now there is one other Category S i30N for sale at the moment, and it's up for 15,000 pound, but there is obviously no other wide body ones for sale. So like I said, the body kit cost me five grand, the wheels and tires cost me getting on for two grand, and obviously all of the other bits that go along with doing that, the price adds up quite quickly. So I think I'm gonna price it pretty fairly I think anyway at £19,000 and we can see the same as the Jag this car has green ticks across the board apart from an amber warning light for accidents again and no records are being stolen and no mileage fraud either but like I already said this car is marked as a category S and this car isn't gonna be for everyone but it's not supposed to be it's supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be a laugh so if that sounds like something you want you know where to get at me now I think I've priced these cars pretty fairly so they should sell but I still have one more thing that needs to go and that's Slick's car care how do you go about selling a business? Well, it was something that I wasn't really sure how to do and I was also very picky with who it goes to because I've spent so many years working on this company, trying to build up a good reputation and making sure the level of service and quality of work delivered is top tier. So I don't just want it to go to anyone because I want them to carry on building that and also continue supplying my old customers with the same level of service. Because although financially now that won't impact me, it would be so sad to see all of that hard work go to waste. And also as well, how do you price something like this? Because I'm not selling my old Hoover and compressor, all my machine polishers, or even half used bottles of polish. Because I can still use a lot of this stuff when it comes to working on cars on my YouTube channel. What I'm selling is something called the goodwill of the business, which means the reputation, the website, the email address, and everything like that that goes with it. No actual physical items. Well luckily I've been working very closely with someone for the past few years, which is the perfect fit for this. And he has now seen exactly how this company operates. So that means if you still want your car detailing or cleaning in and around the Leicestershire area, you can still go to Slick's Car Care and get the same level of service. And that's one thing I've been really particular about. So we've found the perfect person to take over the business and train them up over the years exactly how to do it. So the question is, I'm sure you're wondering how much I got for it. Well, I got pounds for the sale of my company, which isn't a life-changing amount of money, but what it does do is buy me a little bit of time to make sure that I can carry on making YouTube videos, I can carry on growing the YouTube channel, and also put my sole focus into that. And it does feel like a really sad day saying goodbye to my company, but I've got to look and push forward, but now I can truly concentrate on chasing my passion, which is building cars on YouTube for you guys to watch at home. Now they say in life, as one door closes, another one opens. But maybe I'm being a little bit overdramatic because I'm still going to be working from the same place. 
that's for now anyway. But now you guys are coming along on this journey with me and words can't describe how much I'd appreciate your continued support. And to do that you can go and grab as many tickets as you can for my Mark 8 Golf Art using the second link in the description. You can also help by supporting the sponsors of this channel like you already have been and also you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can like this video and I'll catch you on Sunday at 10pm on Level Up's Facebook page for the live draw to see who's going to win my Mark 8 Golf R. I'll catch you then.